welcome to Off to the Movies with your host, Antonio Sayan, bringing you the latest movie reviews on popular film. Now here comes a movie from Focus Features that opened my eyes. I guess because I'm a huge fan of Kevin Costner. When I first saw the trailer, which was sent to me by his press people, I knew then that this was a film worth watching. The film is entitled Let Him Go, which stars, of course, Kevin Costner, but also Diane Lane. Now, when I review a film, I keep it short and sweet without giving away the whole story. The film Let Him Go, directed by Thomas Bazooka, is based on the 2013 novel of the same name by Larry Watson. Sometimes projects come along that is uh, magical on a director. And, of course, um, the writer-director, uh, Thomas Bazooka, he was already a fan of Watson's work. So um, his previous credits were uh, included, like, 2011... Uh, Monte Carlo, 2005, uh, The Family Stone, and the 2000 indie uh, Big Eden. So he knew immediately he wanted to adopt the book for the screen. Once again, this is a spoiler-free review, starting with the synopsis from Focus Features. Following the tragic loss of his son, retired Sheriff George Blackledge, which is played by Kevin Costner and his wife, Margaret, who's played by the actress Diane Lane, leave their Montana ranch to rescue their young grandson from the clutches of a dangerous family in the Dakotas, headed by matriarch Blanche Weeboy. When he discovered the Weeboys have no intentions of letting the child go, George and Margaret are left with no choice but to fight for their family. When I first saw the title, Let Him Go, without even... Um, seeing the film and seeing the trailer Um, and you know you hear about um, a death in the family I I thought that um, the whole premise of the story was going to be them getting over uh, the death of their son but then when I got into more details and I saw the trailer and I saw the press package and started reading. Um, then I, I knew that this was more uh, than just losing their son, um, you know, because of a death. This was more to that. I mean, did you ever have a nightmare with in-laws? I'm pretty sure we all had a, a taste <laughs> of our in-laws, but this was a little bit too much. This, this, this uh, and I, you know what? I bet you if I Google this, uh, you're gonna get stories, um, exactly like this, this, uh, this movie. I mean, but this was, um, uh, this took place in the year uh, 1963. So this movie starts off wonderful, you know, happy uh, family that lives on a Montana ranch. Uh, you have the uh, grandparents, uh, George Blackledge and his wife, Margaret, and um, their adult son, James, who's played by Ryan Bruce, and his wife, uh, Lorna, who's played by uh, Kaylee uh, Carter, and the couple's uh, newborn baby, uh, Jimmy. So then what happens? One day, things change. A wrench gets thrown into their lives. Their son... Um, James breaks his neck by falling off his horse. And um, that was just the beginning of it. You know, I mean, we all have tragedy in in everyone's family. Um, But what happens is, um, you know, later on in years, the wife remarries, you know, and um, I guess what, 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 what I took of the film is that the grandparents, which is George and, and, and Margaret, uh, didn't really know uh, their son-in-law. The writer-director, Thomas Bazooka, said it best. This film is definitely an intense character-based thriller about the bonds of family, the power of love, 
and the necessity of sacrifice set in the American West. And remember, the setting, the year is 1963. So in those days, uh, the laws were different, not like today. In those days, sometimes people did things, you know, on their own for justice. What happened here is Margaret witnessed the dark side of her son-in-law, Donnie, when she saw him strike both Lorna and her grandson. Margaret then learns that the newlyweds pull up stakes in the middle of the night, leaving the town without saying goodbye. Now, to me, that is definitely a red flag. This becomes a mission for Margaret to track the couple down and bring their grandson, Jimmy, home. George, on the other hand, um, he agrees, but, but he's reluctant, you know, but joins Margaret on this important journey. But what happens when they finally meet up with the family wee boy? Well, for that, you all need to see the movie. Let him go. Opens November 6, 2020. I leave you all with this note. Thomas Bazooka's brilliant Let Him Go features a breathtaking performance from both Kevin Costner and Diane Lane. Amazing chemistry on the screen. Let Him Go. Written and directed by Thomas Bazooka. Based on a novel by Larry Watson. Produced by Paula Mazur, Michelle Kaplan, and Thomas Bazooka. Check it out. November 6th, 2020.